Yo! It's been a while since I've been traveling to um, places via um, aeroplane um, to go for a com competition. So this one is a bit different. It's called an outlaw competition. And I'm heading to the eastern part of Malaysia. Let's go to Kelantan. My traveling companion for this round are Harry and Taif, who happens to be Super Park team drivers as well. I was hoping there could be more team drivers joining us, but alas, two is a good number. Before we proceed to boarding, um, it's time for us to have our lunch first. <laughs> so I'm just having a toast, some traditional kuih for lunch while my friends are having a full blown teppanyaki lunch. Since we have already checked in online, all we need to do next is drop our baggage at the baggage counter. After that, we head straight to the boarding gates. The flight from Kuala Lumpur to Kota Baru takes about an hour. I can't believe it has been 16 years since I last came to Kelantan. I don't remember what changed, but that's not the subject here. From the airport, we went straight to our homestay where our friends from KRCC were waiting for us. After a quick tour in our homestay and putting our bags down, we went straight to the competition area. Yo, so we are finally here in um, Kota Baru. Um, I'm not really sure what's this place, this track is called. I think it's KR. Is that the track? The HP Zat Hill Park. Wow. It's called ZHP Zat Hill Park. Zat Hill Park. Sorry, sorry. Zat Hill Park. So um, it's a bit peculiar because this thing is. This track is behind somebody's house. You can see right there. Right, you can see through the montage just now. I think we went through the whole area, and um, all I can say is I'm very excited to see this place. The track is super awesome. Let me bring you to the track. Well, um, while they're trying to, to, um, to, to finish all the gates, I'll try and explain to you guys on what this whole competition is about. This thing is called, um, this competition is particularly called as an outlaw competition. So outlaw is a little bit um, on the opposite side of Sorka. They don't play any scale um, points. It's basically just point on, point on the track. The rig qualification is a little bit of a dilemma for me. I don't quite understand it, but somehow or other, I'll try to learn it. Uh, but the thing here is, um, the penalties are gates, um, TTG, it is a new term, it's called touch the ground. So if you can see the whole area, it's all covered in concrete. So they've joined everything with concrete and um, um, cement, the whole thing. Um, so penalty is gates, um, touch the ground. Apa lagi, Zat? Roll over. Roll over. 
HOG. So roll over is, is basically the same as um, Sorka. If you can write your rig by yourself, there's no penalty. But if you have to use your hand, it's a penalty. The HOG is still the same, so you cannot touch your rig. Uh, whichever part of your body, accident or no accident, it's, it's not forgivable. So you have to be careful. Right. So anyway, um, it's, there is no set a number, um, a number set of gates. There is no set number of gates in, in one particular SS. So normally they'll go around 7, 8. Um, I think some is about just 5. But uh, yeah, so it's something new to me. Not really new. I've been to a, I think, 2 or 3 competitions. But uh, it's all very exciting. Yeah, so um, maybe someday you guys can um, come over to Malaysia and have a look into, into this type of competition. Tonight, the competition will be on. Um, it should start around 9 until 2 a.m. 9 p.m. until 2 a.m. 2 in the morning, guys. Imagine that. Everybody's going for late, late um, sleep tonight. Okay, so it's uh, uh, exciting times. I hope uh, nobody gets injured here because it's a time trial. So everything needs to be rushed. They say there is no such thing as safety timeout. So if you want to come here, come here with a healthy body. Uh, great set of mind and great set of eyes, not like mine. Yeah, I've injured my eyes. Um, so, I will go around the track one more time and see what I can do. And um, tonight, I'll bring the uh, video to you guys. I mean, I mean, I'll do the recording tonight. Okay, um, there's around 50 or 60 contestants, I can't really remember. Um, from all over Malaysia, we have people from Kelantan, we have people from KL like us, uh, the Seafood Park team, um, BHP Solo team, uh, MCC Johor Crawler team, uh, who else? Uh, PCP, TCC, HRHC, Jengke Crawler, I uh, RCD, RCD Dungun. So there's a lot. Basically, there's quite a lot of people, right? So, um, hopefully we can enjoy the night, right? So I'm gonna go around and try to do something else. So that's basically what these guys are going to be um, looking at tonight. It's a whole new experience for me. For some of them, it's um, it's pretty much um, simple thing for them, but for me, it's a whole new experience. Um, like I said, um, the Outlaw uh, competition is, is a, it's not really new, but it's something that that I think needs to be fine-tuned because uh, <laughs> they go by the name itself. Outlaw from one state to another is totally different. The penalties are totally different. The what do you call that? Um, the way they conduct the, the the competition as well is totally different. So. It doesn't mean that when you go to one outlaw competition and then you go to another, you're gonna feel the same. Right? So, let's see tonight. Right now, um, this is what we normally practice in Malaysia, whereby the organizers will show them the line, tips and tricks and everything, right? So people will have a little bit of information on the track, it's fun, let's see them.
Okay, so what's happening right now is um, the way that they're doing this competition is they're going to let all the marshals play first and the rest of the um, rest of the people can have a look and learn on the um, lines and everything. So it's right around midnight right now. Um, I am as a non-contestant. It's very tight. I don't know about these people. I think they will have to play until 5 a.m., 6 a.m. I don't know. I'm not gonna wait. So I'll be off to my bed in a few more minutes. And then probably I'll try to wake up as early as 5 a.m. and try to see whether they still play. <laughs> By then we should get a winner. Uh, but whatever it is, I enjoyed this um, uh, whole competition. It's, it's very nice. Right, so right now, these people are still enjoying themselves. I'm off the bed. <laughs> see you in the morning. In the end, the competition dragged on until 6.30 a.m. in the morning. Even though it dragged way beyond the predicted time, everybody enjoyed the competition, everybody enjoyed the challenge that was provided on the track, and everybody enjoyed the companionship that they had over there. We are looking forward to the next competition in Zas Hills Park in Kota Baru, Kelantan, if it is ever held again. You can see through the montage over here, everybody is struggling and everybody is enjoying the track. I will be following up with more videos from the competition specifically on individual run videos where I will run through the competition with the scoring, the penalties and everything. So hang on, wait for my next videos.